All right, let's dive into creating a workflow in Interact. First, navigate to Automations and click to proceed. Next, go to Workflows and start a new one. Let's say we're setting up an appointment scheduling flow. This is where the Advanced Chatbot Builder comes in. You'll see a drag and drop action tool here. You can rename your workflow, export responses, and save your workflow too. So, let's jump in. We'll start by sending a welcome message offering options to book or cancel an appointment. You can set up separate flows for each of these options. Let's work on building a flow for booking an appointment first. Similarly, you can create a separate flow for canceling an appointment, but let's focus on the booking part for now. To start the booking flow, I will ask the user for their preferred date. It's essential to save the user's response as a variable for future steps. I'll connect this to the previous node under the Book an Appointment flow. Once the user selects a date, I'll trigger an API call to get available time slots by using a webhook, passing the date through it. I input the URL for the webhook and test it to ensure it fetches the available time slots for the chosen date. After testing, the webhook provides a sample API response. I need to store these responses or selected variables. For instance, I'll save all three available time slots as workflow variables. Clicking on the paste icon allows me to copy the dot notation of the API response to save it in the workflow. I'm saving slot 1, slot 2, and slot 3 under the workflow. Now, I'll present the available time slots to the user, asking them to pick their preferred one using clickable buttons in the message. The first button will represent slot 1, so I'll create it accordingly. Then I add another button tied to the variable for slot 2. Finally, I'll create a third button linked to the variable for slot 3. Before moving forward, I need to capture the user's selection under a variable. At the end of the flow, I send a confirmation message about the scheduled appointment with the chosen date and time slot. I include the selected date saved under selected date and the selected time slot saved under selected time slot. The confirmation message should reflect whichever time slot the user selected. And there you have it, a flow built with my advanced chatbot builder for booking appointments. You can also choose to create a separate flow for canceling appointments. Once you're satisfied with the changes, simply click Save Workflow. Your workflow is now set up to automate customer responses efficiently.